So it seems like you're you're certainly a, a very techie person. You're sort of in tune with you know what's going on in in the tech world. We have an iPad you know in front of us, but I want to ask um, outside the realm of speakers, or actually you know even within the realm of speakers and other audio stuff, what kind of gadgets do you, as an industrial designer, mm -hmm. sort of look at that and say that is a really good design? Like what what's sort of out there that uh, that catches your eye that that pleases you? Um. Well, I think the, the kind of new direction that digital cameras are starting to go in, like uh, Olympus and Panasonic doing their micro four thirds systems right. with uh, you know, relatively big sensors for that kind of small camera body and then the interchangeable lenses. Um, and especially the whole kind of ecosystem of adapting older lenses to fit on those new bodies, I think is really cool. Um, and the way, you know, the way that the the camera is sort of stripped down to really make creating the image the whole point of it. Um, I remember when digital cameras first started to become popular, I guess the engineers at these companies realized, hey, it's digital, we can put in all of these other options like sepia filters and you know all of these kind of ultimately distracting things. And I think digital cameras are finally starting to be designed to be more just about taking the image. And I know I use a, a GF1 as my primary camera now, mm. and it's it's really a wonderful experience. And like as a designer, I really appreciate a lot of the things that they've put into that camera. Um, so I think that that's like a good direction that digital cameras are starting to go in. Um, and I think you know the the iPad, I don't even understand what it's going to be capable. I don't think anybody knows what it's going right. to be capable of. I think a cool effect that a lot of people are catching on to is that books are going to become more like vinyl records, you know, like a special kind of physical object right. that people collect and it's going to be fewer, there are going to be fewer sort of books just printed because printing is the easiest way to get that information out. Any um, kind of book that would expire based on like, you've read it already so you're not going to read it again or it's about some current event so right. it's going to be relevant for a few years, I feel like that's going to go straight to stuff like the iPad. And then the stuff that's left over, like art books or like kind of timeless classics that people want to own, I think printing, like the art of printing, will become much more like product design. And I look forward to seeing how that goes. Um, and, and in terms of looking forward, uh, mm -hmm. what's next for you? I know I was kind of digging around and I saw some uh, prototypes of stuff that you were working on. There's a computer mouse that looked really interesting. Um, yeah. what's, what's next for, for Joey Roth? <laughs> <laughs> Well, the computer mouse, I wanted to do that for a while. It was just a mouse that was going to be made out of a block of felt, sort mm -hmm. of like one of those old chalkboard erasers, yeah. that kind of format. But, you know, I'm realizing now that the mouse's days are kind of numbered. So I don't want to get into something that's not going to be kind of a forward looking or an important thing in a few mm -hmm. years. Like, part of, even though I'm like really influenced by technology and I'm personally like interested in figuring out what's going on with that. Um, all of my designs I want to be able to see in an antique shop like 50 years from now and still see like people are seeing that as a desirable object to have. Right. Like I don't want there to be any expiration date on the stuff that I do. So I feel like a mouse is going to be one of those relics that in 10 years no one's going to be using mice. So that's why I didn't want to do that design. Is there anything else that's uh, yeah, yeah. in the works? I'm doing a kind of version two of the Sauropod that's hopefully going to be out this November. Awesome. And I've gotten so much feedback from customers and from restaurants and tea shops that use it now, like on a daily basis, that I, I feel like I can solidly do like an upgrade that will make it a lot easier to use, a lot easier to clean, um, and also be a little bit less expensive. Because when the Sauropod came out, it's a lot of handwork that goes into it because I knew a little bit less about manufacturing and the way I designed it, it just re required a lot of kind of sculptural handwork to finish it. Right. Um, and this one is going to be a little bit more designed for industrial processes but still maintain the overall design goal that I had with the teapot. So that's the, the first thing that's going to, new product that's going to come out this year. Um, and then I have some other stuff in the works but I... I don't know exactly when it'll come out. Like I have an idea for a suitcase, a desk lamp, um, a space heater, um, and also some more, you know, I was thinking about different ideas for cameras. Um, but it's really, I only look about, you know, six months ahead to know exactly which product right. is gonna be out soon. Um, but right now, actually, I'm working with some other designers to do limited editions of the speakers. 
um, you know, giving it to them and having them kind of remake them in their own way because a lot of people look at these and they see a blank canvas. Absolutely. You know, like yeah. how could they change the texture or change the design slightly? So hopefully I'll be releasing those limited editions uh, this summer. Um, so yeah. Well, we, we really look forward to it. Definitely. Again, this has been uh, Joey Roth. Uh, you can find all your stuff on joeyroth.com. Joeyroth.com, yeah. All right, well, thanks a lot for joining yeah, us, Joey. Thanks for having me.